Hey, today's video is sponsored by Fast Coupons 01. Now they do coupons exclusively for Lowe's and Home Depot. They have coupons for in-store use and for online use. So make sure you buy the right coupon for what you need. I've actually got a chance to use a coupon myself and it does actually work fantastic. So guys, check them out in the link below and let's get into today's video. What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate Tour Reviews. Got a fun little unboxing and review for you today. Um, Imodium, I think it's called Imodium Live, I think is how you pronounce the brand name, uh, reached out to me from Amazon. They're an Amazon tool brand, and they've got a new six inch mini chainsaw out right now. Now everyone's kind of doing these like pruning saws right now. I think Craftsman's got one. I know Milwaukee just came out with one. DeWalt's got one. Um, I'm sure Makita will be close behind with their own one as well too. And it's kind of like a league of its own when it comes to these chainsaws. Um, you know, they've got pruning chainsaws, we've got small chainsaws, we've got top handle, rear handle. There's so many different types of chainsaws out there. Um, but it's kind of cool just to see how many of these chainsaws are actually quite useful. And it really depends on, you know, the type of cutting you need to do. If you've got smaller limbs, um, you know, smaller trees you need to cut, having a nice small chainsaw can be quite handy to have. Instead of having to, you know, break out a big chainsaw, um, you can bring out a little small one like this and get the job done without much issue. So a nice cool little carrying case. I'm really liking how brands are doing these carrying cases now. So it allows you, you know, if you're, when you're done with it, you can put it away nicely on a shelf like that. And it's not gonna, you know, get all over the place and make a little bit of a mess and look kind of unkept. So let's pop this thing open, see what is inside here. Latches are kind of cheap there, but this thing goes for about 120 bucks or so on Amazon. Got a nice manual here. One thing that I saw that I definitely like to see on these is it's basically like a full kit. So whenever you think of tools like this, compared to the chainsaw, a lot of them do of course come with, um, you know, an adjustment for the bar, which is nice. Um, this thing's actually, actually, this is pretty sweet. So check this out. It's got its own oiler built in. A lot of these really small chainsaws don't have this. Um, Rabi makes a number of these and they don't have a built in oiler. You have to manually oil the bar and chain as you go. It's kind of tough to tell when you need to put oil on these. Um, but that's kind of cool. It's also got a uh, little bit of a automatic um, bulb here, which is sweet. Got a nice little top cover here. So if you get some kickback, it'll prevent you from getting hit by that. So that is nice. This is a quite a small chain. Kind of reminds me of AVE's little chainsaw that he uses to cut open boxes. I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna destroy any tools, but um, that was fun watching him as he does that. So it's got a pretty easy adjustment here. A lot of plastic would be my only complaint. Um, we got a little bit of a, you know, how to adjust the chain here on the side. Lots of stuff kind of going on here. Um, I don't even know what this is for exactly here, but I got a little accessory bag here. Comes with an extra chain. That's always nice because extra chains are always going to run you at least 10 bucks or so. Got a little brush here. This is a pretty cheap little brush. That staple looks like didn't even do too much on there, but great for cleaning out the um, inside internals and the chain whenever you're done using it. You want to keep chainsaws, you know, of course, clean. Oh, this is actually awesome. So there's a little screwdriver here and we've got a chain file as well too, which is neat. Those are actually nice to have on hand. Um, I'm curious how well this thing will last actually is my biggest question here. And we've got a little funnel in here as well too. See, this is such a perfect little chainsaw for someone who needs to do some you know, light pruning. Um, they don't say want to use something that's like an extension cord little pruner, but you want to have something that's nice and cordless. And this is going to run you right around what a, you know, a corded model would run you as well too. Let's see here. Batteries look mostly dead here right out of the box. Yeah, looks like they're about three bars each. Not sure what this part is for exactly, but I'm sure I will find out. Here is our charger. Ah, read the manual. So this part here is gonna be a bit of a guard. So this piece unscrews. You can slide that up into there. Gotta unscrew that a bit more. There we go. So that becomes more of a hand guard. That's actually pretty nice to have. Kind of surprised that wasn't actually installed from the factory. Seems like that would make sense there, but oh well, I guess they try to save a little bit of space in the packaging. 
that doesn't really seem something kind of sort of something to secure it there as well too. Let's see here. Yeah, that's what it shows here. So it's connected there and that's about it. So it's only connected at one connection point there. That's kind of funny. You know, out of all the accessories that it includes, it's funny, it doesn't include a little bit of bar and chain oil. So make sure you pick up some on your own. If you've already got a couple of chainsaws, you might have some bar and chain oil laying around. I've always got plenty of it laying around. So let's put some in here just to get going. All right, got that cleaned up. So let's try out this little primer here. And oh, there we go. That's pretty cool. All right. I want to pull this off here and check this out. So I'm sure it's just this one screw here. Curious to see how much metal or plastic we've got in here. There we go. So there you can see our chain tensioner adjustment in there. That is going to be, looks like it's all metal. That's nice to see some plastic up here. Not a big deal. So here is our mechanism in here all metal construction there got a little piece of plastic in there actually looks pretty decently made from what i can tell curious to see where the oiler well, there's where my oiler comes out right up on top there is where the oil comes out so i probably push a little bit i want to get that primed there we go the oil coming out there Awesome. So it's actually a pretty decent design here. Not that it's going to be, you know, heavy duty by any means, but as long as the batteries last on this, this should be actually a pretty decent little um, mini chainsaw here. So not terribly complex here. However, though, if you have never really worked with a chainsaw, if this is like one of your first chainsaws you ever used, this might be slightly more complicated. There we go. Got this back on now. And you can kind of see... You know, I get this piece all the way on. There's a little, that little black pin has to go into the bar there. A little tricky to do if you've never really done this before. Um, so once you get the hang of it the first time, you should be good to go after that. And there is a safety switch here, so you can't pull the trigger until you pull that safety switch down. Claims to be a brushless motor at about the $120 price range. Um, that sounds about right. So all you gotta do is loosen this up and then just adjust your chain tension. Looks like I got just the amount of chain tension I want here. You always want it to be just tight and be able to snap back into place. You don't want anything just hanging down, but you also don't want it too tight or you can break the chain. So I got probably one of the thickest branches you're probably going to cut with this type of chainsaw. Uh, this thing is right at around two inches in diameter. So let's see how many cuts we can do. Let's see how well this thing will cut and how long one of these batteries lasts. Let's say 21 volt lithium ion. Let's give it a shot.
this thing is not bad for a mini chainsaw. I'm actually quite surprised. Um, I'm showing two bars left on the battery, so I've already made a good amount of cuts. This is actually a pretty decent hardwood here, and this thing is just going through it like it's nothing. Once you get that chain definitely tensioned up right, it just cuts right through wood like nothing. So I'm actually pretty quite surprised with this little thing. It's actually quite useful. Um, so yeah, I definitely give this thing a thumbs up, guys. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.